Welcome back guys and look at the weather today. There's some clouds in the sky but I don't think it's gonna storm. So it's the perfect time to do the photo shoot. And I'm still not gonna tell you exactly what it is. You're just gonna have to guess by what we are prepping right now. So I just went and cleaned the windows because of the water, it beads and then when it um, evaporates, the water left a bunch of marks. So I just took some invisible glass and sprayed it. The problem with the windows being waxed now is the invisible glass even beads. So it's kind of hard to clean so, and it's really hard to keep it dry. But I did get it clean and as you can see, they look pretty much perfect again. So we're good on that front. There is some dust or like fibers on the car. I'm not going to worry about it too too much because it's not a super important photo shoot. It's more just playing around and seeing if this is actually a good idea or not and what you guys think about it. So we're not going to wipe down the whole car. Probably most of it's just going to blow off when I drive away so we should be good. But let's get to prepping the one item we need for the photo shoot. There's your first one. Let's see. If you haven't guessed already, this is an inflatable paddleboard, and what I'm wanting to do is put it on the roof of Project Daily. But first, we gotta get it inflated and ready. So, there we go, we got everything set up. And look what happened to us again. A storm. I don't know what is with it this weekend, but it seems every day we're getting the storm and it sucks. But this one doesn't look as bad as yesterday, so I might go put the board on and just see how it works. But first, we gotta figure out how to mount this board on the roof rack of Project Deadly. So I do have a couple straps that I'm gonna put across, so I'm gonna go like exit across, and that should be good, I hope. So let's try that first before we do any shooting of photos. But also the place that I wanted to shoot, it's a boat launch, and the boat launch is good, except I can only get into it after they close at like 8 I think or something. So I probably won't do it tonight because this storm is going to definitely hit by 8. So the easy part is just putting the board up there. It's going to be pretty easy to balance, so I'm going to grab it and put it up. So putting it up there it looks super cool and super funny at the same time because if we go to the back it has probably got a foot off the back and then if we go to the front it's probably only three feet off the front of the car. So there isn't much room to spare but the board itself is pretty light as you can see when I was lifting it it wasn't too bad. So now we just got to really mount it and we should be good to go. Also, uh, if we look from it, from the back, it actually looks super cool. And I have a different idea than shooting photos with it today. But I'll let you know if we can mount it up properly. Because the only issue now is, is mounting it right onto the rack itself. So we're going to need some kind of straps. I have some, but I don't know if they're going to work. So let's try that. I swear, every time I try to make a video, this is what happens. We got a storm and it's starting to rain right now and it's supposed to rain for the next two hours again. I don't know what it's with with going to try to shoot photos, but it always rains. Anyways, check this out. This is super cool. I really like the look of it. Boom. We now have a paddleboard on the top of Project Daily. And it's good enough to be dro driven around. As you can see, it doesn't move and it is good. So all I ended up doing was putting some straps on the crossbars and then just really tightening them up. And as you can see, it worked out pretty well, I'd have to say. There's foam on the bottom of the board, so the board actually is like stuck to the um, crossbars themselves. And that is why they kind of stick. Anyways, I would love to shoot photos with this setup right now because it's such a cool looking thing, to, isn't it? But, unfortunately, because of the rain again, I guess we can't do that. But we did get the paddle board up, which is pretty awesome, and I'm super excited about that. And as you can see, it looks so big on that car because the board's pretty big and the car itself is pretty small. So I have a different idea. You guys know that I'm doing a Cars and Coffee down where I live on the first Saturday of every month. Well, I'm going to show up to Cars and Coffee with a paddleboard on my roof tomorrow. I don't know how it's going to go or if anyone's going to be like, that's weird or that's cool, but we're going to go for it. We're going to just go do it because why not? I got it up there and the Cars and Coffee is tomorrow morning. 
So we might as well leave it on and go do that and maybe take some photos after or something. But of course, I'll be vlogging tomorrow again so I can try to keep up this daily upload thing. I have a lot of things to do on the other on the cars, but right now I'm waiting on stuff to be shipped to me. I'm waiting on a front lip on this car so we can do the aero and to get some more cardboard. And then I'm waiting on the polish or the glass polish on there and to figure out the final tint specifications for the Forester. Also, I'm just waiting for money to buy more car parts. But anyways, See you guys tomorrow where we'll be showing up to the car meet with that roof rack on. Until then, peace out and stay humble.